सब्सक्राइब टू मथुराज रेसिपी एंड हिट द बेल आइकॉन टू रिसीव अपडेट्स ऑफ ऑल माय न्यू रेसिपीज हेलो फ्रेंड्स आई एम मधुरा वेलकम टू मधुराज रेसिपी डॉट कॉम टूडे आई एम मेकिंग नाइस पनीर रोल और पनीर रैप विथ नाइस क्रंची वेजिटेबल्स इन इट दिस इज अट ऑफ वेरी हेल्थी रेसिपी एंड बींग अ वेजिटेरियन आई लव टू हैव दिस पनीर एंड इट मेक्स complete healthy meal by itself so to begin with let's take a look at ingredient so for making the outer coating or wrap uh, here i have taken 2 cups of whole wheat atta whole wheat flour you can also use half of uh, whole wheat and half of all purpose flour or you can completely use maida in this recipe also we need some salt to make this into dough now for making stuffing uh, for making paneer masala we need 250 grams of paneer a cup of finely chopped onion a cup of tomato puree this is homemade tomato puree and i have already uploaded the recipe how to make this exactly nice and thick tomato puree at home so i'm also going to attach the link for this recipe in the description box below or else you can browse that on the youtube then uh, in spices i have a teaspoon of red chili powder a teaspoon of garam masala any type of garam masala works perfect for this recipe सम कसूरी मेथी टू टी स्पून ऑफ क्रीम एडिंग क्रीम इज ऑप्शनल यू कैन कंप्लीटली स्कीप दैट आउट सॉल्ट टू टेस्ट जिंजर गार्लिक पेस्ट वन टी स्पून देन वी ऑल्सो नीड अ टी स्पून ऑफ शुगर दिस शुगर हेल्प्स टू रिड्यूस द एसिडिटी और सावर टेस्ट फ्रॉम टमेटोज देन आई एम गोइंग टू सॉर्ट इज सम वेजिस सो फॉर दैट आई हैव सम स्लाइस्ड अनियन सम पेपर्स येलो रेड एंड ग्रे to begin with let's make the dough part first so in the whole wheat atta i'm adding little salt for taste give that a mix and let's add in water slowly just add a little water at a time so that you will have control over the amount of water that goes in while making this into dough just knead this just like a chapati dough chapati atta and here this dough is almost ready and look at the consistency not too thick and not too soft just the way we make our chapati atta chapati dough now take just few drops of oil and just coat this dough from all the sides so that it doesn't form any crust and set this aside for 15 to 20 minutes now while our dough is getting ready in the meantime let's make our stuffing ready so i have preheated a teaspoon of oil into a pan and it's nice and hot so goes in sliced onion as well as peppers mix that in and i'm going to cook this for just about 2 minutes we don't want the veggies to get overcooked they should retain its crunch so here veggies are cooked for nearly 2 minutes on medium heat now just go ahead and salt this up just a little bit of salt and here i have this freshly crushed black pepper so that is optional you can skip that out one more mix turn off the heat and let's remove this veggies into another bowl after removing veggies into separate bowl in the same pan i have gone ahead and heated 2 tablespoon of oil again now in the hot oil goes in finely chopped onion saute this over medium heat for 4 to 5 minutes or until onion gets light golden color after sauteing onions for another uh, 6 to 7 minutes on medium heat look at this they have started to caramelize and it has got light golden color now at this point of time we will go ahead and add in ginger garlic paste in this red chili powder garam masala mix that in and cook this for 2 more minutes and after about 2 minutes of cooking next step is to add in this tomato puree 
along with sugar. Mix that in and cook this until oil start to lose out from this masala. This will take another 7 to 8 minutes over medium heat. Okay, so here this tomato puree has been cooked for about 10 minutes over medium heat now and uh, if you notice a lot of oil has started to ooze out from the spices now this is the perfect time to go ahead and add in salt in this also goes in our kasuri methi just take it between your palms and crush it down now uh, if your kasuri methi loses its uh, moisture then what to do just a simple step just uh, put the kasuri methi into microwave and microwave it for just about a minute or so and it will regain its crunch now in this i am adding just a little bit of water to adjust the consistency flavor is awesome and it looks superb look at the color and texture it has got lovely now at this point of time just go ahead and add in our paneer give that a mix Now, if you don't want to make wrap, then this is your paneer masala ready. Now, let's close this with the lid and allow this to cook over medium heat for just about 3 to 4 minutes. This is paneer, fresh paneer and it cooks really fast. Now, if you overcook the paneer, it's going to lose its soft texture and it will uh, taste like uh, rubber or it will get more chewy. So, to avoid that, don't overcook paneer just let this cook over medium heat covered for only three to four minutes so here this paneer is cooked covered for about three minutes now this flavor is just awesome and here this is almost ready in this go ahead and add in cream mix that in now turn off the heat and this paneer masala is ready to go in our wrap so now that our stuffing part is ready we have sorted our vegetables our paneer masala is ready now let's start to make our wrap for this paneer roll so here this uh, atta dough has been rested for about half an hour now so give this one more knead just make it even more soft and smoother let take small portion of dough from this atta and now just make this into nice and soft dough cover this dough in dry atta this is whole bit flour only and just roll this out into a chapati it has to be a little bit on a thicker side we are not going to roll this into a thin chapati or roti just a little bit thicker but not as thick as naan this looks perfect now it's ready to go over skillet and here skillet needs to be nice and hot when we put our roti or paratha onto it now let this roast until it gets a uh, light uh, uh, bubbles on the surface of this uh, paratha or it gets light browning on the bottom side of this roti or chapat after about two minutes you will see this nice tiny bubbles start to appear on the surface of this roti now it's a perfect time to give it a flip lovely you can see this nice light brown spots and let this cook for another two more minutes on the other side now let's smear some ghee on the surface of this 
chapati you can also use some oil give this a flip awesome some more ghee again flip this over and here this roti is very well roasted fabulous noticed take this out all right now just a fun part that is to assemble this uh, paneer roll so here i have some of these lettuce leaves so i'm going to top this up with our sauteed veggies Now here I have this simple dressing. So this is basically red chili sauce combined with some mayonnaise. So it goes over this veggies. You can also spread this uh, dressing all over this roti or paratha. Either way it's fine. After dressing, here is our paneer masala. Goes in lots of paneer. So I'm going to assemble all of our stuffing on one side of the paratha, so that uh, when you start to roll this out, it doesn't come out. This stuffing doesn't come out. And if you like, you can always top this up with some more vegetables. Now let's just close this up. So fold the bottom portion of this roti or paratha and then start to roll. Try to roll this as tight as possible. Take a foil. Look at this. Your nice, creamy, spicy, and delicious paneer wrap is all ready. It makes easy to grab wrap, and it's a complete meal by itself. It has a paratha, it has a sabzi, it has paneer. So, if you like this video, hit the like button. Also, don't forget to subscribe. Thank you for watching. See you soon. Bye bye.